You're watching We've Got Your Back on ABC 27, presented by Penn State Hershey Spine Center. This may surprise you, back surgery does not always mean a long hospital stay and lots of physical therapy. A Lower Paxson Township man had minimally invasive back surgery on a Monday afternoon and he was home for lunch the very next day. Gorgeous day. Every day is beautiful to 80-year-old Bill Morris. I just feel as if I've been given a, a lease on life that I wasn't sure I'd ever have again. Each morning, Bill takes a two and a half mile walk around his neighborhood something he could not imagine doing three months ago. Just getting out of bed was work. He remembers it well. How do I get out of bed without having these, I called them zingers, and they would just be, be uh, like shocks of lightning that would hit my back and down my legs, and, and I really could not move. They'd take my breath away. Bill's family. That was my 75th birthday, and that's the entire family was well aware of his back problems. The backache started 40 years ago. Last July, the pain became unbearable. I guess this is the equivalent of doing curls with weights. Bill underwent hours of physical therapy, but it didn't help. Surgery was the only option. So he met with Dr. Tim Ryder, who diagnosed him with lumbar stenosis. The spinal canal is too narrow for the nerve roots. So every time he stood up straight, the nerve roots actually got pinched within his canal. He actually could get some relief just by leaning forward. That makes the spinal canal bigger. Dr. Ryder suggested minimally invasive surgery called lumbar laminectomy, something only a few doctors do in Pennsylvania. I placed a tube right down to the spot where the nerve roots were pinched. And then using a microscope, I can operate down through that tube and take away the bone and the ligament pinching the nerve roots. It's a whole new world for me. I drive, I do what I want to do. I get up in the morning and get out of bed and I'm able to walk and, and not have pain at all. Bill can enjoy life again and do the things he put on hold, like playing golf. It's been a wonderful experience for me. I give thanks every day. And I asked Bill if he ever thought he would have surgery at age 80. He said never. Now joining us is Dr. Tim Ryder, a neurosurgeon at Penn State Hershey Spine Center. Bill reacted very well to this surgery. Do most of your patients react this way? Yes, they do. Uh, the, the thing I noticed between the minimally invasive surgery and kind of the open surgery is people just recover faster. They have less post-operative pain. You're really splitting the muscle rather than cutting it. And, and another thing that, that you're, we're noticing that the people who do this is the infection rate's very low also. Infections and complications we just don't see as, as often. Okay, now we have another viewer question. Dr. Ryder, why don't you read that one to us? It's gonna come up on the screen. Yes, uh, recently an MRI showed I have an L4-5 herniated disc, which deforms the thecal sac and nearly obliterates the cerebral spinal fluid surrounding the nerve roots. Without the fluid, will I seriously damage my nerves? And if I have surgery, will the fluid return? Uh, there's kind of two parts to this question. The first part about the nerve roots is the nerve roots are pretty resilient. So it takes a lot to really damage them. So most people, unless you start getting a lot of numbness uh, or weakness in the muscles themselves, the nerve roots should recover pretty well. The second part of the question as far as the fluid is, yes, the fluid will return around the nerve roots. Um, the fluid is there to bathe the nerve roots and to nourish them. And when you, it, the disc actually, if you give it long enough, probably will get smaller on its own. Or with surgery, you could actually take it out of there. Okay. And there is more to come. Stay with us.